Today we're doing um, borscht. Um, it's a Russian recipe, and we've got beef steaks and uh, celery and parsnip and an onion and uh, a cat who wants to get in on the on the act behind us and also um, 80 fluid ounces of water salted ready salted and what we're doing is just getting uh, making up the broth so this literally goes in there just no need to peel it because we just want it to um, the flavors to go into the water and so and um, a bay leaf and then the meat and I'll just bring that to the boil and then once it's boiling I just turn it down on a low very low gas and then just let it boil for one hour and so um, we'll leave it like that gas is on so that is starting to um, warm up and I'll put the lid on and we'll come back to you in one hour's time okay so we've been cooking for an hour now and um, just slowly and now it's time to remove just the vegetables from the broth leaving the meat in there no this is where we are vegetables in the broth yes okay We don't use these anymore. They're just there to make this um, lovely borscht broth. The meat stays in. And now what we do is we add the beet. You can put more if you wish, oh, but we don't like too much on the beets. <laughs> and so that's going to cook now for another 30 minutes. Okay. If you'd like to come back there. Okay, welcome back. So what we've done is we've removed the meat and the beet from the broth and then this has been strained to get out all the bits and then the bowl has been cleaned uh, and uh, broth returned to the bowl and so now we're going to add the following we've got three chopped carrots a single rather large um, parsnip and then three um, chopped sticks of celery and they're going in and then we have one diced onion going in the mix as well and so we keep that bring that up to heat and just let that simmer for 10 minutes oh and I'm going to add just these this is the stalks from the beet just chopped up and it just adds to the color of the actual broth or borscht as it's slowly becoming okay so we put the lid on and in 10 minutes time come back to me and we will add the following Okay, so 10 minutes the carrots have been cooking in there and now we're going to add two potatoes chopped half a cabbage savoy cabbage I've used and that's shredded and then we have four garlic grated into the mix And now we'll leave that just to 
cook for a further 10 minutes okay and come back in 10 minutes time two extras that um, I have prepared and forgot that is just a tomato and this is demerara sugar just to take the acidity out of the borscht See you later. Right, welcome back for our final addition to this Russian borscht. And what we do is we're going to put the beet in, just one large beet we've used, and then return the chopped beef to the mix. And then we have dill and coriander and we add that to the mix and then one more final thing we do when that's all in is we turn off the gas take the heat off the burner and we leave it just like that we leave that to stand for a good 10-15 minutes and we give it a little taste then and see what it's like see if it needs any more salt oh and one thing i haven't put in which is really naughty of me but i can't see why it can't go in now <laughs> is a pepper mm -hmm. oh dear forgot the pepper but nevertheless it's in okay all right good there you go.